What's up guys, Nax Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be overclocking my Nexus 10 to 2 GHz. Now my kernel does actually allow a 2.1 GHz overclock, but my Nexus 10 just isn't stable, you know, it can't really run everything, it basically crashes straight away. Let me just give you a warning about this stuff as well, you know, I wouldn't suggest running this overclock as like a daily driver, I only do it to kind of show you and like mess around with it. Um, it is a lot quicker, but it's just not stable and it's not safe for your device in general because of the heat. So you can see here, minimum 200, maximum 1700. We're going to crank this up now to 2 gigahertz. We now have a tablet running at 2 gigahertz. And, you know, it's nice. It's very quick. You can see here the speed of it. Um, it's not slow in a way. It's at 1700 or 1 1.7 gigahertz, but you can definitely notice an increase in speed here at 2 uh, I'm just going to close out these apps and we're going to see if we can run some benchmarks. We'll run Geekbench here. You can see it says 2.1, which is the maximum, but it's actually running at 2. Um, i tell you what we'll do, actually. We'll force the governor into performance mode so it sticks at 2. You'll see here it's now stuck at 2 gigahertz and it's now absolutely lightning speed. As you can see, I mean, look at the ridiculous speed it has now stuck on performance mode. But again, it's not safe. So let's run this. See if it gets through this test. So I think normally on stock it scored, what, 2,600, 2,500, something like that. Um, let's see what it can push at 2. And 2 gigahertz, you can see it gets the best score I've ever seen on a Geekbench at 3,259. So it's finally broken the 3,000 score which is ridiculous. Like I said, it probably would score 3,500 if I could clock it to 2.1, but I can't. The CPU just does not handle it and it crashes out. Um, let me try one more. Um, we'll try, Quadrant really isn't optimized for it, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna use Antutu, uh, which has been optimized for 4.2, so should give us a good score. Let's also not forget the resolution this tablet is pushing. And yeah, so there was a score I actually did get 14,945, which is a decent score. And I think that was overclocked. So I'm just going to run this here and I'll turn it. I know you can't really see that properly, um, but I'll skip to the graphical test because, you know, this bit's boring and people want to see the frames per second. So, yeah, see that. So here we go guys, here's the graphical tests. I'll just move it over so we see the frames per second when it moves over to them. I'll zoom out a bit as well. Obviously overclocking the CPU helps a little bit with the graphical test, but really it's the GPU, so they're not gonna be overly a lot of difference um, in terms of its frames per second and stuff like that, but yeah. See here, we're scoring 56, 57, 58, pretty much on the limit now. 58.9, 59.1, so yeah, right on there. This test is always is quite intense, and it's scoring about 19, 17, 10 at this point. So you can see my tablet can handle the two gigahertz speed. Um, literally, if I go to 2.1 for more than a few minutes, it crashes out. So I don't know, maybe the voltage is too low for 2.1 or just the tablet cannot handle it. Uh, I don't know. And we're testing the SD card write speeds now. This is boring again, so I'll skip to the results. And the results are in, guys. You can see I scored better than I did last time. I've scored 15,396 which is a decent score. If I submit, I'll show you where exactly that comes in the whole list of things. Let's not forget again, I know I keep saying it, but the resolution is ridiculously high on this tablet. It will take a hit. And let me get the chart out here. So we can see, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead to the bar chart. You can see here, it's scoring way above the Asus Transformer Prime. It's scoring above the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy S2. Obviously, it doesn't, score above the S3, but it's very close. The One X Plus with a 1.7 quad core processor is very close. You can see 
these A15 cores are very, very strong. Once we get the uh, quad core A15 cores, kind of like these two here, we'll, we'll be absolutely machining. And I just want to mention it now because I was kind of excited about it. Apparently, Qualcomm's releasing the uh, S4 Prime CPU and GPU, which is basically going to be running at 2 to 2.5 gigahertz quad core, which is an absolute beast. Um, this score is pretty damn good. You can see, compare it to the Asus Transformer Prime, the Nexus 10 is pretty much winning in every aspect, obviously because I've overclocked it as well. And we'll just turn this again sideways. If I just show you now what happens if I try to put it to uh, 2.1 and we'll see if it even lasts. You can see I've gone to 2.1 gigahertz and we'll mess around with the UI. We'll, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll try and run a Geekbench. And there you go, guys, it's completely crashed. Unresponsive, it will now restart. So can't handle 2.1. So yeah, guys, that was my Nexus 10 overclocked to two gigahertz. See you guys later.